Hello everyone, this is Taria from Hidden Truth Tarot and this is going to be for the sign of Gemini. Gemini, this is going to be your energy during this full moon in Scorpio reading. I'm using the Starseed Tarot and I'm also using the Moonology Oracle. Now I'm pulling your major energy during this full moon in Scorpio and we have Solar Deity coming out here. That's very positive, Gemini. I'm going to go ahead and pull two Moonology Oracles as well. Now this full moon is going to take place on May the 18th of 2019. And I'd like to say that it's my opinion that a few days even up to a week before the full moon and a few days after to up to a week after the full moon that this can have a major effect on your energy and your life okay so we have meditate and contemplate coming out here with new moon in pisces very nice and we have the end of a tough cycle approaches full moon in capricorn all right Give me just a moment, Gemini, to get your card shuffled and laid out, and we will go over them. All right. <clears throat> All right, Gemini. This represents you during this time, Seeker of Flames. So that's really nice energy right there. We have the Four of Orbs coming up here. This is going to be your challenge during this full moon. This is what you're focused on, Sage of Orbs. Wow, very nice. This is what's benefiting you right now, Eight of Crystals. We have five of crystals. This is what you know is true, that you know to be true right now at this time. And then we have the ten of chalices. And this is what you're going to take away. This is what you've learned from the, the energy of this full moon and Scorpio. Very positive, you guys. Let's go ahead and let's take a look at your major energies during this uh Full moon in Scorpio, Gemini. We have solar deity coming out here. So you're going to use this time, I feel like, for discovering the truth, going within. Um, this is a time where I feel like you may have a lot of creativity taking place here. Uh, ideas, something that you're very passionate about as well. Uh, this is truth and clarity coming in here for you during this full moon in Scorpio. Now, we also have Meditate and Contemplate. Uh, this is going to be a good time for you to meditate, uh, take a step back to uh, decide what, what it is that you maybe want to be creative about, uh, maybe where this truth and clarity is coming in, what it is that you need to do to move forward. Now, we have the end of a tough cycle approaches coming out here. So, I feel like... You're going to use this full moon in Scorpio, Gemini, to push through and close a chapter in your life to start a new beginning. All right? So, very positive. Uh, I feel like some of you may already be going through a purging process um, out with the old and in with the new, right? So, let's start here. You have the Seeker of Flames coming out as your energy during this full moon in Scorpio, Gemini, this is very positive. Uh, this is you being awakened and knowing how beautiful and wondrous it is to have the divine spirit flowing through you. Knowing that there's there's more to life than just the mundane, uh, earthly, you know, life that we live. You know, you're spiritually awakening within. And this is you, you know... Reaching out and searching for no, more knowledge and understanding and discovering what it is that, you know, really makes you tick. 
all right, when it comes to being aware and being awakened during this process. Uh, this is you maybe seeking a higher knowledge and wisdom and understanding due, due, due to your spirituality here. Uh, maybe starting a new path. Um, but you are seeking. You are searching. Uh, you know there's more than what we can see in the physical. Now, this is going to be a challenge for you at this time, Gemini. And this is the Four of Orbs. Um, now, the Four of Orbs is an energy of, you know, maybe taking a temporary retreat. Um, you know, taking time out to take a step back, maybe to be able to come back and uh, have a fresh approach or new idea in to what it is that you're seeking or you're trying to uh, figure out during this full moon in Scorpio. Now remember, clarity is here for you. Truth is here for you. You still have to take time out to uh, do the inner work and meditate, okay? Um, and being grounded during this full moon in Scorpio is going to be very important at this time for you too, Gemini. Now, we have this Sage of Orbs down here. This is what you're focused on. I love this energy. It's very powerful. This is the ultimate female authority. All right? This is having a deep understanding about what, you know, the this suit right here, Orbs, which is air. Okay? This is mental energy. Uh, and you are air energy, Gemini. So... This is you have grasping and having a deeper understanding with this. Now, this is the female counterpart to the yin aspect of the yang. So, this is you. I feel like for some of you, you could be practicing medicine. Uh, you could be a priestess. You could be, it's like a, a general earth mother type energy as well. But this is you being you know, balanced, I feel like. Now, one thing to add to this energy right here, Gemini, if you're a female watching this, a female Gemini, it's very important right now that you work on balancing your masculine energy and, you know, that's within you as well. Now, if you're a male Gemini, it's very important for you to make sure that you're balancing your feminine, uh, femininity as well, okay? But you're focused on this. You want this balance because you're wanting to move forward. You're working very hard to move forward on this. You're ready to end whatever this tough cycle is that you've been in. Now we have the Eight of Crystals and this is what's benefiting you at this time. This is you working on achieving this goal. You mastering, uh, getting closer uh, to the end game here. This is you being very disciplined and knowledge. All right, and working very hard and diligent at what it is that you're wanting to uh, pursue here, what you're wanting to move forward with. So very nice right there. Now, this is what you know to be true right now at this time, Gemini, and we have the Five of Crystals coming out here. Uh, I feel like you're isolating yourself uh, during this full moon in Scorpio. This represents taking, you know, removing yourself from others, um, uh, oftentimes, this can represent, you know, feeling like you're you're not blending in with others. As you can see, she's standing here alone and she's isolating herself. And there's others down here partaking in some type of uh, ceremony, but she's removed herself. So I feel like at this time, you're isolating yourself. You you feel like you need to get away. Uh, this is what's important in order for you to have clarity and truth in being able to move with this uh, energy that's taking place. Now, this is what you're going to take away uh, from this full moon in Scorpio. And this is a beautiful energy. This is the Ten of Chalices. This is what you've gained. This is happiness, joy, peace, and harmony. And Gemini, with this energy, there's a promise of more to come as well. This is this opportunity for this new cycle to begin. Uh, you know, for the end of a tough cycle to end. And this is the new beginning here. Now, you're going to be able to do all of this by 
being able to meditate and contemplate. It's very important that you work through this challenge here of being able to meditate and ground yourself. That's very important, and don't forget that. And Solar Deity is a beautiful, positive energy, Gemini. So, I love you guys. I hope this helps you. Please leave me a comment. Let me know how these energies are playing out in your situation during this full moon in Scorpio. And Gemini, I love you guys. I send you all my love, wishes, and blessings. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.